Good morning, Wildcats, and welcome to HVWN. I'm Caitlin Captiville. And I'm Danny Rodriguez. On today's episode, we're going to get an inside look at a club here at Harvard that may just be good for your soul. Plus, nothing says Friday night football like the roar of the crowd, popcorn in the air, and the spirit behind our very own Harvard drumline. We'll take an inside look on just what it takes to be a part of the line and their dedication. Let's get right to it. Today is Friday, October 6th, 2017, and Harbor Wildcat News starts right, right now. now. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends with waiting just around the bed. denominational Christian sports ministry that aims to see the world impacted for Jesus Christ through the influence of coaches and athletes. The FCA club here at Harvard just had a meeting on Tuesday to discuss their upcoming event, Fields of Faith. Let's take a look. FCA, a student-led club that meets every week to bring our school and community together through fellowship and shared passion. FCA is like a really positive influence on the school because it gets um, students active um, like with the Lord, with Jesus, um, and it gives like an opportunity for students to spread the word. Getting together like at school and talking about the Lord is something that like, not very many students like have the opportunity to do and being able to do that like here at Harbor like um, with coaches and like with like fellow um, athletes, it's, it's a really cool concept and I really like that part about FCA. FCA not only meets with each other, but they put on events such as See You at the Pole to spread the gospel to other students and athletes within the school. See You at the Pole is an event. It's a national day of student prayer, and it's an event where every school is invited within the nation um, to pray for our community, for their nation, um, and just let alone pray for each other. I think it just says it's a positive place to where there's a lot of um, similar interests, you know, with your athletics um, and, of course, your faith. And so it's a place where they can grow, lean on each other, um, and also just, you know, people that understand what you go through as an athlete and as a Christian, you know, the battles and the difficulties and also the rewards and the benefits as well. These student leaders are passionate about the club, Jesus, and their goal of sharing the word with the student body and within our community. I've always had a passion for Christ and I've always had a passion for youth ministry as well. So anytime I get to speak to people, it's just something I've always wanted to do. For me, the main goal is just to let people know that we're out there and that just, I think the main goal is to like just have a time to come together and like worship and just time to be together. Be sure to come out to Fields of Faith on Wednesday, October 11th at 6.45 to find out what Fellowship of Christian Athletes is really all about. For HUWN, I'm Treshawn Pascal. Make sure to check out Fields of Faith on Wednesday at 6.45. Even if you're not religious, there's going to be pizza. If that's not a reason to go, I don't know what to tell you. I sure do love pizza, Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin, why do drummers always keep losing their watches? Mm, I'm not sure, Danny. Tell me why because they always have trouble keeping time. <laughs> that was a good one. Um, I'm sure our drummers march to the beat of their own drum. Hopefully they don't hit a snare along the way. You see them during halftime and you certainly hear them in the mornings. They began practice at the very beginning of August on the hot pavement out in the front of the school and their hard work and dedication definitely doesn't go unnoticed. Here's a story on the Harbor High School drum line is they don't take first chair, but center stair. Harbor High's band is not only known statewide, but nationwide for their performance and skill. One section of the band stands out above the rest. Harbor High's drumline puts in hours of work to show what it really takes to march to the beat of their own drum. I teach uh, beginners in the seventh grade on percussion. I visit them in the junior high and keep their skills progressing. And then I teach the drumline here at Harbor. I look forward to seeing kids in a new role. Maybe, maybe a new drum that they haven't experienced. Each, each instrument has its own skill set. We do try to always sound and look great. They're very visible, like they can do fun things with their instrument or their sticks, and so, and, they, and they're loud, so they do provide a lot of hype for the student section or the rest of the band. Benji Baugh and Peyton Wilson have played snare on the line since 
they were sophomores, so I mean, they were good very early on, but they've been very consistent and very influential on the snare line. It takes more than just talent to be on Harbor's drum line. Commitment, community, and above all, desire to perform with the best is what it takes to be a part of this elite group. I am the drum line section leader, so basically my responsibility is supposed to monitor their marching throughout the entire season, and then um, I'm basically responsible for the entire drum line, um, making sure everybody's you know, doing what they're supposed to do and um, making sure we sound good. I've learned, besides just music, of course, you know, hard work and ability, it's just really fun being able to play at all the games and um, just all the relationships I've made over the years. The drumline puts in hours of work to create an atmosphere of hype for football games and pep rallies. I'm the tenor player, center tenor. My favorite part would have to be getting everyone hype in the band and the student section. Um, I really love it when we go out to play for the student section up on the field because they just get really hype and, you know, my friends and everything are yelling my name. It makes me feel you know, like I mean something. <laughs> Be sure to come out and support Harbor's Drumline and the rest of the band as they compete in the regional marching competition on October 17th. For HPWN, I'm Kiersey Grafton. You know, one of my favorite movies is Drumline. I think... You know, one of my favorite movies is Drumline. I think Nick Cannon is super talented. I think that our whole Harbor Drumline would agree with you on that. <laughs> We are going to take a quick commercial break to hear from some of our sponsors, but when we come back, we'll take a look at a major achievement and a first in school history. Don't go anywhere. HBWN will be right back. A community is so much more than just people who live near each other. It's heritage and helping each other. It means common values and shared interests among people who really care about one another. A sense of community runs deep and stands strong. Everett Chevrolet is proud to be a part of this wonderful community. We hope you'll come see us and discover the Everett difference. You'll be glad you did. Fast Lane Entertainment is a family-friendly establishment that provides 75,000 square feet of wow with a state-of-the-art bowling alley, with arcade games, a two-story laser tag arena, and spin zone bumper cars, with 10 party and conference rooms for birthdays and group events. Fastlane has everything you need for family friendly fun. Find us on Facebook or FastlaneBowl.com. Take a fresh look at the Jones Center, the premier place in Northwest Arkansas for year round ice skating, swimming, basketball, working out, and ice hockey. It's a great place to celebrate business, school, and family events in one of our many spacious meeting rooms. Become an annual member or just come for the day and enjoy our first class amenities at our state-of-the-art facility that distinguishes it from all others. Only at the Jones Center, serving Northwest Arkansas for over 20 years. It's a place to belong. Ever since we incorporated theater into our practices, our hustle plays have increased 60%. to feel it. Show me. Show me the emotions. Oh! Oh! The Springdale Fire Department exists to enhance the quality of life in Springdale by minimizing the devastating effects of fire, medical emergencies, and natural and artificial disasters. Do you value commitment? Honor. Integrity. Loyalty. Respect. Service. Then you should join the Springdale Fire Department. TK Martial Arts, where we are dedicated towards the advancement of martial arts in Northwest Arkansas. Learning MMA, Judo, Jiu Jitsu, team development, and cross discipline affiliation. Join to develop respect, honesty, perseverance, self-control, and humility. You can join by coming to any of our classes Monday through Saturday at 207 Commercial Avenue in Lowell, Arkansas. Contact us at 479-365-0783 and make sure to check out our Facebook page. Hey, you want to buy your book? No, I don't think so.
don't say no to the Wildcat. Visit yearbookforever.com to order yours today or see Ms. Sprague for more information. Welcome back. Last week, our Harbor High School football team played our crosstown rival, the Springdale Bulldogs. It was a very hard-fought battle for the Bulldogs, but our Wildcats overpowered them in the end, 56-14. to 14. Our Wildcat football team is very cat -letic and always maintain a positive catitude on and off the field. Caitlin, you see what I did there? That was very claw so. Danny, I think you mean clawful. Moving on, last but not least, here's a story on how these cats climbed into the list of Super 25 by USA Today. Check it out. For the first time since 2010, the Wildcats are ranked in the top 25 in the nation. This is a huge national recognition, yet the players and coaches just see it as a way to improve week by week. The 30, Cooper to the 20, makes a man miss at the 10 to the 5, touchdown, Harbor. Well, I mean, I think it's just a, a mindset of humility, and, uh, you know, they put in a lot of work to where they've gotten to, and each day I think you've got to try to outwork the day before. You've got to try to be better every day. And so that's kind of really our mindset, or we try to accomplish that as a mindset. The Wildcats must have the right mindset to keep up their success and continue winning games. And it all starts with hard work and improving as a team. You know, we just have to come in every day, you know, work, you know, like uh, we're the underdogs, you know. Like we have something to prove every single day. We can't, you know, get the big head or anything. We just got to keep working hard every day. You know, coming into the season, I thought the sky was the limit, you know. We, we obviously have a ton of just talented guys. Um, you know, I, I really believed we could uh, do what we're doing now. And it's great that we're getting national recognition. It's been a long seven years since the Cats have been this good, being ranked in the top 25. But they are poised to be the best team this program has ever had at Harbor. Well, you know, uh, I think we've definitely earned it. It's been a grind for us so far this year. and We're 5-0 and right now, and I can see us being undefeated the rest of the season. I mean, we're on a kill streak right now. So The Wildcats must keep up the success to continue winning games. Being in the top 25 is a huge achievement. But the Wildcats still have a lot of games left to play. For HBWN, I'm Nick Luchel. We would like to congratulate our football team for being undefeated and ranked in the top 25 in the nation. Make sure to wish them good luck and come out and support them as they play Bittenville tonight at 7 p.m. If you can't make it tonight but don't want to miss out, be sure to tune into our sister station, WCSN, for all live event coverage. And tune in next week to HBWN. I hear Danny is going to do a song and a dance. That's right, Caitlin. Wait, what? For HBWN, I'm Caitlin Captaville. And I'm Danny Rodriguez. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends but waiting just around the bed.